Hey guys, welcome to another technical episode. Today we will have a look around this small digital display time bully. This particular display, um, this particular time bully can work directly on the line power maximum up to 220 volts and can handle a power up to 1500 volts. This small timer you can you can set two set of timers and you can set it based on seconds or minutes or hours in all the three cases it can you can configure a maximum up to from 0 to 999 seconds or 999 minutes or up to 999 hours let's have a look around let's open it and see how it looks inside This is how it looks. It's just one board, one side the displays, the switches, and this is a relay and the connectors. Let's connect, keep it back. Let's power it and see how it works. Now we have connected it to the power. Let's power it up and see how it looks. Yeah, you can see two set of timers. One is the red timer and the other one is a blue timer. As I said, it works in three different modes. So first we'll see how to change the working modes. So for that you have to press the set button for 6 seconds and it will take you to P0. P0-0 means seconds, P0-1 means it is working in minutes and P0-2 means whatever you are configuring it is configuring it is accepting as hours. Let's set it for seconds. Okay, to set the time it's pretty easy. Press the set button. You will see the red one is blinking again for us let's uh, uh, set it to eight seconds and press it again for the for uh, setting up the blue timer let's make it say five seconds and press reset to save that now you will see that this timer is I think for eight seconds yeah eight seconds and this one is five seconds now let's go to the programming um, the timer programming so to go there you have to press the set button for again for six seconds that programming you can do it in P1 press the setting button again we'll see P1 if P10, there are. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's press it again. Yes. It has got six modes P10, P11, P12, P13, P14, P and P15. So we will go in detail in all the modes. Let's first go in P10. And this is the output is off for the red timer. Let's see what happens after the red timer. The output is on and it continues to be on forever so let's reset it and see how it works again the output is off and the timer is on once the timer it finishes the timer the output is on and in this the blue timer data is irrelevant let's go to the next programming mode yes p11 let's see the output is on and this timer is on let's see what happens after that timer the output is off in this also the second that's a blue timer is irrelevant let's see how it works again 
the output is on based on the right timer and the output goes off after that particular time now let's go to the next programming mode that is p12 p12 so in this output is off based on the uh, right timer let's see what happens now in this onwards the blue timer is relevant see after that the output is off let's see it once again how it works during the right timer the output is off and once the right timer is zero the or the output is on during the blue timer and again it goes off now let's go to the next programming mode the next one is p13 in this mode the output is on and let's see what happens the after this the output will be on and it continues the same way both the timers become zero and the after this particular time the output will remain on now let's go and see the next programming the next one is p14 here you can see the red timer is running and the output is off after that the blue timer the output is on then the output is off again the red timer started running which means this is a cyclic process it keeps on running with the means the output will be on during this particular blue timer based on this blue timer and the cycle continues now you may be thinking what will happen if the power goes off in between let's just remove the power and see how it works i have turned off the power okay now you know on which mode it was let's turn it on and see how it works yeah so it continues this the last mode where it was in and it continues the cycle now let's go to the next programming mode which is p1 and 5 this is the last mode let's see how it works the output is on based on the red timer and the output will be off based on the blue timer and this is again a cyclic process so these are the six modes in which this timer is working and to change this time it's pretty easy you just press the set button the the display the uh, the the timer will blink and increase or decrease how much of a value you want you can even do this as well you can see how fast so it's moving around you can set the timer and press the reset button for that particular value to be saved if you remove the power again you can you you can see the it will start from where it was and this is what the the small digital display time relays i hope this was useful to you consider subscribing thank you